Welcome to the SAP Business One Integration Framework Series. In this session, we are going to cover how you can use a tool like Cyberduck to connect to your B1 Integration Framework server using WebDAV protocol. So, first you will have to download Cyberduck, and um, this is the URL. And I already downloaded the file here, so you can install that. So let's do a quick install. Okay, so the installation was successful, finished. Now we can, uh, before we are going to uh, open our CyberDAC, uh, let's make sure that we have uh, the URL uh, in order to access our integration framework. And we can do that by going to the Start menu, clicking on the integration, clicking on the integration framework link. And here all you have to do is just to copy the URL and I'm going to copy that up to the exec. So instead of, um, so actually let's copy everything up to the dummy and then we're going to replace the dummy with WebDAV. Now we can close this and let's go to our installation of CyberDAC. So now we'll be able to add the new bookmark. So we'll go to bookmark, create a new bookmark, and let's call this local B1IF. Select the protocol, in our case, it's going to be a WebDAV web based uh, connection. And um, in the server, we can type here um, our URL. And the username is going to be our B1I admin. Let's see one more options here. And we are going to replace the dummy with web dev. That's it. So now this should work if we close our bookmark. Now I have my bookmark here. So if I click, double click on the connection, I'm going to be asked for the password. and click on login and you're getting a warning that it's an unsecure web dev connection let's do continue and it's connecting and that's it now you have a web dev connection uh, to your b1i f server You'll be able to directly um, access packages and transfer files and edit files using your favorite editor like XML Spy or um, uh, Notepad. So now, after we have access to the WebDAV, we can define the default editor to use. In conjunction with the WebDAV tool, CyberDAC. So to do so, you can go to File, uh, sorry, to Edit Preferences, go to the Editor, and here you can specify your your editor. In my case, I'm going to select Notepad++, and um, 
which is here and I'm going to check the box always use this application so now if I want to edit a file and in order to do so I can go to my scenarios which is going to be the, the com.sap.p1i vplatform scenarios.design so here are going to be all your scenarios located so let's go there and let's try to edit one of the scenarios for example I have here my uh, ss to xml scenario and here I have my uh, for example atom zero I can right click click on edit with and either the default which is going to be my notepad plus plus and you see it opens the file directly in my notepad notepad plus plus through web so it's locally downloads uh, this and uh, opens into the notepad uh, or into the editor now if you save the file it's going to also to save it back to your b1if server So this concludes our session regarding using CyberDuck to connect to your B1IF server.